Hello, and this is Nam bringing you the second episode of Nam's Movie Reviews. Uh, let me just say that I've done a couple like uh, practice runs of some of these other movie things, and I either have to go A, really fast, or B, chop it up into two files, because I definitely can't split it up. I mean, I can't fit it all in ten minutes, so basically I'm really chatty, and that's how it is. So, anyway, this week, uh, trying to get this episode to you really quick, because uh, I got places to go and I have a lot of movies to review. Basically, I'm going to review a lot of movies from last week and this week. So, uh, let's start with uh, these movies that came out last week. Boys and Girls Guide to Getting Down, DOA, Dead or Alive, and Griffin and Phoenix. So, we're going to go through over those. And then, uh, the movies came out for this week. Uh, Closure on IMDb. It turns out to be Straight Heads, because I guess they didn't change the title or whatever. Uh, Walking Tall 3... Lone Justice, uh, Quentin Tarantino's Death Proof, um, Macbeth, and We Are Soldier. Oh, also I will be reviewing the movie Waitress, which I saw at a movie theater, and uh, we'll get to that later. Alright, anyway, so first movie up is Boys and Girls Guide to Getting Down. Um, let me just say, this movie royally sucked. It is a really bad movie, definitely don't recommend watching it. It is... Um, utterly hilarious just because of uh, it's done in like a style similar to um, uh, Mating Habits of the Earthbound Human. It's the uh, you know the one that's done documentary style and it's about people having sex. Well this one is kind of like this parody guide on how to get laid and I mean as amusing it is to watch it really gets old after the first like 10 minutes and it's not really that great a movie. I do give it props for being slightly different though because you know you don't really see too many movies that are documentary style nowadays so we're not gonna go with that. Anyway, so next movie DOA Dead or Alive. Uh, this I saw a trailer a long long time ago and it reminds me of the days of like Shaolin Soccer where I totally saw a trailer and then three years later it came out on DVD and that was way too long. So anyway um, DOA, Dead or Alive, uh, based on the video game of the same name, let me just say, Dead or Alive reminds me of Mortal Kombat. Uh, basically, the plot is almost non-existent. There's really not much going on in this movie. It's just like, boom, 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 they give you these clues, you know how it's going to end, and pretty much the entire movie is an action movie. That, and there's a lot of scantily clad women, so if you really like scantily clad women, you can watch DOA, and you'll probably be entertained. Um, other than that, fighting is not bad either, so we're going to say special effects is pretty good. Uh, other than that, movie itself, uh, not that great. But, you know, if you're going to do something mindless, you know, then feel free. Anyway. Alright, uh, last movie that came out last week, the one that I actually watched that I thoroughly liked, it's actually called Griffin and Phoenix. Um, this one is a comedy drama and it stars this uh, two fairly not so famous people I think I didn't remember who they were but anyway it's about this guy who middle-aged he has divorced wife and you know he has kids with her but it turns out that he goes to the doctor and he has these lesions on his in his lungs you know cancerous lesions so what ends up happening is that he takes extra risks and he falls uh, for this girl, and he ends up, you know, getting her attention, so they start hanging out, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I definitely recommend it, because it's not your typical romantic comedy. I definitely uh, think that the way that this movie ends, I'm not going to give any way any spoilers, so don't worry about that, but um, it's definitely uh, well worth watching. It's very touching, very emotional, and it's... It's just pretty good. I definitely recommend. Um, however, if you are easily prone to crying, you should definitely go for the tissues. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway. All right. All the movies came out for this week. Uh, let me just say, I watched a ton of them this week. Why? Well, because I was slacking off and not doing my homework. Kids go to school. Anyway. Uh, okay. First movie, Closure, um, also called Straight Heads on IMDb. Uh, this movie is the first movie in a while that I saw Gillian Anderson. She's actually the main star, and um, she plays this woman who uh, meets this guy through... Well, okay, the guy is installing something in her apartment, and 
she has a really big apartment. She seems kind of rich, but anyway. Then they get into some trouble one night, you know, uh, with some mobsters. They're not really from a gang mobsters. It's like mobsters out in the country. Now, this doesn't quite make sense to me, but um, anyway, needless to say, I hated this movie. This movie totally, totally sucked. You don't want to watch it. Now, most people have seen movies like this before, like Eyes Wide Shut or Edmund. Those movies are kind of weird. This movie's kind of weird, except it's not even good. Like, the other movies were good. So, I'm going to say don't watch this one uh, unless you really want to see Gillian Anderson boobs because that's really all there is in this movie. And I mean, there's so many, like, pointless sex scenes, it's ridiculous. Anyway, so don't watch Closure. That's that. End of story. All right. So, next one is uh, Walking Tall, Lone Justice. Now, uh, the Walking Tall series, the original movie, which was a remake of an older movie, which I think was based on a true event, or it's either based on a book based on a true event. But either way, it links back to the true event. Uh, the first one was about this guy saving his... Uh, old town from being taken over by a casino. Anyway, first one was good. Second one uh, starred a different main star. The first one actually starred The Rock. Um, the second one actually starred Kevin Sorbo. And, you know, as much as Kevin Sorbo was a cool guy and all, uh, he didn't really fit the role. Anyway, this third one stars Kevin Sorbo once again. Go figure. But, uh, what happens is it kind of stems from the second one, because if you didn't see the second one, you don't exactly know how to get into the current situation, but um, it's kind of a continuation, like a direct continuation. So you see some of the same characters, but uh, believe it or not, um, Walking Tall Alone Justice actually wasn't that bad. It wasn't as bad as number two. Uh, I still think number one is the best, but uh, this one's actually worth watching. I think. Uh, it has a lot of good action sequences. The story is actually fairly solid, considering what it based itself on, which was the second one, and the second one was terrible. Um, so, Walking Tall, Lone Justice, I'm actually going to give a thumbs up. I actually liked it. Uh, the thing is, the sequel thing, I don't know how far it can go, but I guess if they decide to make a good movie once in a while, it's fine. Um, it doesn't share a lot of the same themes as the other Walking Tall movies, so if you're trying to look for that, it, it's not really there. In my personal opinion, you know, oh, he doesn't go save, you know, huge town or whatever by himself. And anyway, so that was pretty good. Kevin Sorbo, if you want to see Kevin Sorbo as badass, definitely go watch it. Um, let's see, what else? Another movie. All right.